Hey yo guys, what's up? My name is Trix, aka Nico, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to take a look at the newly released Essence Crafting. Essence was firstly introduced with the new dungeon races. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then check out my video on them. You were able to gain Wither Essence from them, but more on that later. Since my last videos are blowing up like they are, I just quickly want to say thank you very much for that support and also put something out there. I met this awesome dude and do you guys know the feeling when you open a YouTube video and you just love the audio quality and the voice of the creator? Well if you know what I'm talking about then please go check out Kingle123. He's not only an awesome creator but we actually also have an upcoming event together. Do not waste any more time here, join my discord if you want to learn more about this event and don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoy what you see. Let's Let's move on to the video. Essence, like I already said, was firstly introduced with the dungeon races. But what exactly is Essence and how do you obtain or use it? You gain Essence by killing the equivalent of its type's mob. What do I mean with type? There's actually six different Essence types at the moment of recording this. Undead Essence, which is obtained by killing undead mobs such as zombies or skeletons in any dungeon. Dragon Essence, that can be obtained by killing lost adventurers. Gold Essence, which there actually isn't any known method to obtain this essence yet. Therefore, I will leave a gold essence status in the description and if it ever releases and or we find out how to obtain it, I will update you guys down there. Moving on to to Diamond Essence, where you have to kill angry archaeologists to get that. Wither Essence, which is not only earned by completing the races, like I already said, but also by killing dreadlords in the catacombs dungeons. And lastly, Spider Essence, which, yeah, it's obtained by killing spiders in dungeons. Another way to obtain Essence, though, is to salvage items dropped in dungeons over at Malik's was found at the catacombs entrance. And another last thing before we move on, there's actually an essence shop which might later on be a method to either exchange or actually trade essence with people or just the shop itself. Since it's an upcoming feature though, this is only an idea of what it might actually be. So now that we know what essence types there are and how to obtain them, why is there six of them and what are they actually used for? There are six of them because every essence type is used to upgrade items according to their type. The perfect representation being dragon armor which is for example upgraded by using dragon essence and or the Midas that for example would be upgraded with gold essence. And since I already spoiled that, you use essence to upgrade your weapons and armor. What armor and what weapons you can upgrade with which essence can also be found over at Malik's. Go check him out if you want to know which essence you want to actually work for. So what do I mean by upgrade? You can upgrade your item to become a dungeon item. This obviously only applies to items that are not dropped inside dungeons since they already are dungeon items. This means that the item will get a stat boost depending on your dungeon level in that specific dungeon. But not only that, it will also be able to get stars. These stars are applied in the same way, use your essence to upgrade your star level, which goes up to 5 stars, and you will gain 10% increased stats on that armor or weapon for every single star on it. This means you can get an ability and stat boost of up to 50% of the item space stats. Really quick reminder though, if you upgrade your equipment to become dungeon items, most of them bring a pretty high requirement with them. The superior dragon armor for example, requires for you to be catacombs level 30 to actually even be able to use it inside of dungeons as a dungeon item as well as a pretty high cost to even upgrade it in the first place. This however means if you take your armor to Malik and convert it into a dungeon item, you will have to think of two important things. The price since the price to change a non-dungeon item into an actual one is very expensive and if you for example choose armor that actually multiplies by 4 and secondly the requirement. You're able to use your upgraded dungeon item outside of dungeons just normally but you're only able to use it inside of dungeon runs if you actually fulfill the requirements. Otherwise your armor would look something like this and with that said I guess it's clear that upgrading comes with a high price but it pays off if you can make up for it. And before I totally forget to mention this, in the newly introduced Dungeoneering skill, you have a skill for each class of dungeons. But not only that, there's also a skill for every available dungeon. And since the only available dungeon at the moment is Catacombs, this is exactly what the requirement would be if you upgrade your item to become a dungeon one. This skill not only allows you to use items with a requirement if you get there, but also really helps you with an increase of your item stats and abilities since the higher level you are, the higher the stat boost will be. So let's make it quick, too long to watch since it was a lot of information that I hope to have transferred to you in the best way possible. Essence, which there are 6 types of it, is obtained by killing mobs according to its name. 
It is used to either upgrade items into dungeon items or to upgrade those dungeon items to get stars. Up to 5 of them, which boost the item's stats and abilities by 10% for each star. This means that essence crafting is probably one of the most important things in the later parts of dungeons and is something you might want to look into at some point since it gives you the ability to upgrade your items to become insanely strong. With that said, these upgraded items oftentimes also come with a requirement, so only upgrade if you actually fulfill them. And if you're just starting out, you should probably save up on essence since a lot of items actually are very very expensive to even convert them into dungeon items in the first place. Alright, since we bobbled around quite a bit, I hope to have given you a good insight into essence crafting, and if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to show it by liking it or sharing it with a friend. If you have any questions or want to share your opinion on anything, feel free to join my discord server or follow me on twitter, and also if you want to keep up with what I'm doing then feel free to subscribe and since this is basically it thank you very much for watching and have an awesome day.